blinders. Take off the blinders. And expect the change. tonight, you will walk out of here uh, in position for your new change. And I guarantee you that if you really want that change, it will happen before the month is out. Before, oh, yeah. Come on, how many believe it will happen before the week is out? Yeah. The week, you still got a few more days to this week. Can you lift your hands to him? Yeah. A lot of times the change don't come because you are blinded and baffled by things that are all in your way and clouding up your area. But God said to tell you tonight to move those blinders off and expect Change. Change. Let me show you where we get it from. You may be seated in God's holy presence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jesus, I thank you. I said I thank you, Lord. There's details in this little pas uh, passage that I read you about Bartimaeus. You've heard it. You heard different things. Um, but I, I, I don't know. You know, look like every time I read any type of scripture, I always... See something new every yes. time. It never fails. I always see three or four different things that I say to myself, how did I not catch that the last time? It wasn't, it wasn't to be caught the last time. Every time God gives us something, it's for the now season. Amen. Somebody shout, right now it's time for a change season. Right now it's time for your season to flip. Amen. Come on, you know you need the season to change on you right now. Are you in the house? Can you lift your hands right now and say, I'm ready for a change right about now. Come on, wave your hand and shout right about now. I need that change. Preach about so. Amen. So the Bible says that when he came to Jericho, he went uh, out of, and when he came to Jericho, as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, the great number of people, a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the wayside, begging. Amen. 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 A great number of people were going, and Bartimaeus was sitting there by the high wayside, Begging in the right place to get some help. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. You, amen. Uh, if you're going to beg for something, you can't be somewhere where nobody shows up. Amen. That's why you find people by the freeway because they know all through the day somebody's going to be getting on and off yeah. of the freeways. I think I'll stand in the off position because when they come off the freeway, they got to stop at a light. Yeah. And amen, that'll give me time to say, I need some help. Amen. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, you need to get in position. You need to go to the place that you know can help you and start running all over town where ain't nobody even know you exist. Amen. 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 I don't need you to help me say amen. I, I know some of y'all got an amen like me, a built-in amen, but for the rest of you, do what you want. Amen. But I got an amen going on right now. Amen. So God wants you to take the blinders off. Amen. Amen. Expect a change. Say, so I don't see it yet. You will in a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, see, he heard the crowd. Okay, yes. you, you, you heard him say that there was a great number yeah. of people. So let me tell you, when you get a great number of people shuffling around where you are blind or not blind, you're going to know that they're there. I say, even if you got a great number of people shuffling around and you're deaf, you will still know that they're there because your eyes see them. You may not can hear them, but you still don't know that they're there. Somebody say amen. So if this man is blind, how did he know? He can feel it. Come on, say glory to God. Come on. Uh -huh, he can feel it. A blind 
person can feel the vibration, can smell the scent, can, feel, can sense the excitement. Lift up your hands. Amen. Some of the people are spirit blind, but they can still sense the excitement and still won't do nothing about it. Thank you, Jesus. Blind in the church, blind on the pews, blind, uh, blind at the conferences, just blind. Sensing the excitement is still just blind. So, when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus! Now watch this, watch this. This man, see, I'm not, not, see, I saw this again today. He said, Jesus! Now you got to understand that there is a crowd of people, a bunch of folks. Well, how much noise are they making already? How much shuffling and excitement is going on already? But this man had the nerve to feel like that if I just called out his name, yeah. that over all of this crowd of people, he going to hear me. Yeah. I'm talking about somebody that's got an expectation. I, I, I want to draw your attention to the word expect. Amen. Because when you have an expectation, you don't look at everything uh, that's saying it's not going to work and that it's not going to happen and that no, it's too difficult and too hard. When you have an expectation, you don't care nothing about Says. Ooh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Wow. So he cried out amongst all those people and said, Jesus, son of David, hey, glory. have mercy on me. Now he might have been blind, but somewhere down the line, he heard who Jesus was because that's another way of saying Rabuni or Jesus. Amen. Listen, have mercy on me, son of David. Him all that. Wow. Why not just Jesus? Mm. Why not just Jesus? Because different uh, Bibles says in different ways, especially when he answered after the question, then in I think the NIV, he was he called him Rabboni. Rabboni. Amen. That I mean that's putting Jesus directly where he belongs. Somebody lift those hands to him. So he says, Jesus, son of David. Have mercy on me through the crowd. Ignore the eyes. Ignore all of the talking. Ignore all the walking. Ignore all of the help me, Jesus. Touch me, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Ignore all of that. Amen. Where we going next, Jesus? Ignore all of that. And over the crowd shouted, Jesus, son of David. Have mercy on me. Y'all so busy paying attention to what the folks are saying around here. So you can't shout over them. I need a few folks that will shout over them tonight. Can you lift your hand and say, I'm about to shout over Come on, somebody else got to be making noise that I 